Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between, I'm some guy and I'm back over analyzing Bizarre Earthquake. We are at the home stretch, the second to last video. Well, without further ado, let's do this. Cue the intro. The earthquake got me out of bed. The earthquake got me out of bed. The earthquake got me out of bed. Yep, I am definitely running out of songs about earthquakes. Who would believe there's not very many of them? Anyway, day four spices up the formula that we've been experiencing so far. Instead of having the day start off with watching our character walk downstairs, they're both already downstairs. Well, obviously, our heroes have patched things up after their little dust up in the prior day. And yeah, our characters ask the same questions. Where are the other earthquake people? What time did they leave? Blah, 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 blah. And then eventually one of the other earthquake people show up. And they're like, hey, the professor dude, he's depressed because I guess his formula didn't work out. Yeah, that scene seemed entirely natural. Lady shows up, says, oh, the professor's depressed. Well, see you guys, I'm out of here. There's no reason for me to have walked in this room. I just kind of did it so then you'd know that. Thus, pretty much ending the plot line between the rival earthquake people and our heroes. Sure, they'll still hang around, but yeah, that pretty much wraps things up. The professor is a big fat failure. His formula, which could have predicted earthquakes, is a bust. And his assistant, I guess she doesn't care because the checks are going to clear regardless of his success. At least for now. So thanks to the scientific method and no action on our heroes' parts, their rivals have been dealt with. Goddamn science needing evidence and stuff. And speaking of evidence, our heroes go to Cell Phone Beach to look for an earthquake. For real, we're pretty much doing the exact same thing we did with the cell phone, except now we're just looking for strange stuff on the beach that might be earthquake related. Yes, it sounds like a bomb's about to go off. You wonder why whoever planted this installed that beeping noise. Is this like a safety precaution? But anyway, don't bother to try to follow the sound. A game don't work like that. Basically, after five odd minutes of clicking around the screen, I inevitably found the exact pixel that the game wanted me to click on. Well, looky here, we found one of those bombs that we've been finding everywhere. I don't know what it is about these characters and their willingness to pick up explosives, but they do it an awful lot. Wow, boy, you really threw that a safe distance away from you guys. And of course, the screen starts shaking and we get some jams that indicate, indeed, an earthquake has hit. Pretty amazing that that crack opened up mere inches away from Boar's feet. To think he could have died there. And also to think that for the first time in this game, I actually believe what's on my screen is a crack, not a path. And Boar quickly gets over his earthquake phobia and his near-death experience and proceeds to look at the crack. And they're like, whoa, whoa, dudes, there's ancient artifacts down there. Trust us, for real. It's like a treasure trove. There's like gold and shit down in this crack. Oh my god, amazing. But we won't show you any of it, because that would spoil the fun. So after finding what I assume is a Turkish pirate treasure trove, Kansu comes up with a bright idea to check for fingerprints on the bomb. You know, the bomb that Boar was handling without gloves, the bomb that he threw on the ground, the bomb that didn't actually explode or anything. It just, I guess, sent a shockwave. Actually, how the hell do these bombs work? Okay, these guys were super close to the bomb when it went off. And even if it was, say, seismic waves, you think that standing that close to a bomb that did that to the earth, literally splitting it in two, that shockwave alone would kill these people, at least liquefy their organs. But now they're fine and healthy. Wow. I'm beginning to question the scientific integrity of Bizarre Earthquake. So now our heroic heroes, who are made of aluminium, I assume, go back to the house. But oh no. There's a sign blocking the entrance. And believe it or not, Boar is too damn weak to move it off. Cause the Boar don't lift. He needs to get some creatine in him or something. So now I'm going to bitch about this game. Because, well, I want to be honest with you folks. This is the point in the game when I thought about quitting. Because I could not figure out for the life of me. How the hell to get that sign off the damn railing? I meticulously went through every single item and tried to use it with it. I clicked on everything. I went everywhere. I spent a long ass time on this part of the game. Yep. 
If you're being the screen right there, the puzzle appears to have solved itself. I have absolutely no idea what triggers this. I talked to Boar as Kansu. I talked to Kansu as Boar. Ain't none of them had an option here of saying, hey, can you help me remove the sign? I think the game just arbitrarily does it after a while. Or maybe I had to be Kansu and click on everything and call everyone. I, I don't know. I just flat out do not know. But to be fair to the developer, there appears to have been a patch that came out since last time I played this game, so maybe this has been fixed. I don't know. But for me, this was not a very fun experience at all. And that might be a sign of things to come, folks. Because we're circling the drain here, and things aren't going to look pretty from here on out. And no sir, Red Bob. So now we got to figure out how the hell to get fingerprints. I really didn't figure that one out, if I'm going to be blunt with you guys. Actually, I probably need a raw blunt to get through this game. And that's not me being mean to developer. It's just that, at this point, I was frustrated. I wanted to give up. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. And... The inherent design flaws in this game were beginning to rear their ugly little heads. So, the first pair of fingerprints I was able to get were from a Browns here. I took a log. It had his fingerprints on it. And then, well, remember I was mentioning design flaws earlier? I switched over to Boar. So I swapped over to Boar after giving him the log, and sure enough, by some devilish magic, he had already acquired an essential item. A fork that had somebody's fingerprints on it. Amazing! An adventure game that plays itself. So after the miracle of Boar playing the game for me, I swapped back over to Kansu and proceeded to take everything that wasn't nailed down. And then I met back up with Boar again. And sure enough, this game is on autopilot at this point. Because once I swapped over to Boar, guess what he had? Every single essential item necessary to make the fingerprints. And that's exactly what I did. Then it was a simple matter of importing the fingerprints into the computer, matching them up, blah, 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 blah. Do you want to know who's been planting the bombs? Do you want to know, guys? Do you think it was the old lady? Get yeah, right. Lady can't get her own damn groceries, let alone plant bombs. Do you think it was the other sciencey people? Oh, hell no. That one dude's all depressed that his formula failed, and his assistants seems to give zero fucks about anything. So that means it's either our main characters or the only other character in this game. Yeah, Farmer Brown's the dude who's making bombs and causing earthquakes around here. So now what do you think our characters do? Well, they don't do anything. They're just like, oh my god, it's Recep, the farmer. He's a dude making bombs. Oh my god. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to sleep on it and go check out his house tomorrow and hope he's not there. Yep, we're on to day five now. The final day. And folks, <laughs> are you in for a treat? Because day five is going to be a confusing mess. All right. Hopefully you'll be there for it. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you next time. Uh subscribe